What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to Toya CTV, and the time is here. Today is September 10th, and what day is it? Daryl Dixon Day, okay? So they just posted episode one. They probably posted it 12 midnight, I don't know, but I'm just seeing it. Episode one of Daryl Dixon. So, we know from the preview that Daryl is in another country, right? Yes. And he's going to be on this mission, I think, with a kid. I don't know. But I'm just excited to see what this series does. I hope it's as good. I hope they have the same people as they did on Dead City. Because Dead City was good. So, I ain't going to talk too long because this is just episode one. So, if this is your first time here, welcome to Toya CTV. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you know when I drop a video. And enough talking. Let's get right into it. Can't wait to see the intro to this. What intro they gonna do? Judith! What? Lord, he is in the middle of the ocean. Wait. He is on a boat that turned over? Daryl, how did you survive this? Wait a minute, he's tied? Oh my goodness. Where did you travel from? And who tied you to this boat? No, don't drink that. I guess he just thirsty, but drinking salt water gonna make you even thirstier. He hungry, he thirsty. Daryl, I hope now you take a bath. <laughs> Cause when you see you take a bath, all walking dead. <laughs> 11 seasons, you ain't take a shower. And you still got the vest. Is that water? I guess so. But how long has that been there? I guess when you're thirsty, you don't care. There's one thing about Daryl. Daryl gonna find him some food, fish for it, hunt for it. He always gonna get him some food. That is no problem for him. I'm from a place called the Commonwealth. It's in America. If I don't make it back, I want him to know I tried. Daryl, you gonna make it back. Yes. Ooh, that's a good weapon of choice. Lord, he just walking to who knows where. He just walking. Oh, lurker. The can't just say lurker growling. <laughs> uh oh. Oh. Oh, they all waking up. Daryl, we know you can handle yourself. Go ahead. 
Yep. Ew. Behind you, Daryl. Okay. Ooh. Oh, wait, what was that? Was that this blood? It sounded like it was acidy. Oh my gosh. Do they have acid on him? It's burning him. Yes, Daryl. Oh, get it out. Get it out. Get it out. Yep. He always got another one. A spare. Come on, Daryl. I don't know why I'm worried. I know you can handle walkers, but these walkers are acid walkers. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Gosh, I miss this. <laughs> oh, his arm for when it touched him. So how did they get acid like? Uh oh, intro. Okay. Okay, I like that. All right, it's something different in the Walking Dead universe. I like it. Oh, somebody's watching. Ooh. You need something to put on that. You need some aloe vera gel. <laughs> Lord, it's 15 miles. Or 15, what they use, kilometers? Do you and me? Yes, he is in France. Oh, he got a translation book. God loves you. Oh, that's what that means. Oh. Oh, it's a woman. Oh, she's putting it up. Mm-mm. Dang it, Daryl! Mm. Is he really blind? Uh oh, Daryl. Okay, you gonna share? I'm Marie Ben. And did you? Maybe we go together. You know? Go together. Get some more space, maybe. I... Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, uh oh. Oh no, why is they taking why Why are you why is he taking her? Oh my gosh, Daryl, come on. Yes, uh-huh. Yep, yep, yep. Y'all got the wrong one, baby. Woo! Did he shoot Daryl? Did he shoot him? Girl, help him, yes. Oh, okay. It grazed them. Uh-oh, uh-oh! Daryl, Daryl, Daryl! Oh, no. I knew they was faking. I knew it. I figured it. They were faking. Daryl about to get y'all once he wake up. Come on, lady. Help him.
No. Judith. I'll bring them home. Carol. Oh, yes, they're helping him, but oh my God. One more time. Oh, well, at least he's in a nunnery. Just one kind. Yeah. So they call them burners. Yeah. You're from America? A place called Commonwealth, right? Huh? She heard all that? It's on your tape recorder. Oh. How did you come to be in France? Bunch of bad decisions. You call me Daryl. Or something. Mm-hmm. All right, woo! Daryl, this is the safest place, I think, unless they do some foolery. <laughs> okay, we got kids. Wait, what? <laughs> that was a game? <gasps> Daryl is taking a bath. This is a monumental moment, people. Daryl Dixon is taking a bath. Oh my gosh. <laughs> About time we see him take a bath. It's honey garlic. The fight infection. Oh, honey and garlic. Should have known. Garlic is powerful and honey. They're afraid of you. I'll be gone soon. <laughs> Got some new clothes. Medieval churches often had weapons rooms. You needed them back then. It makes sense. We trained ourselves to use them. He probably them. like a kid in the candy store. Look at all these weapons. Yeah, Jean was a collector. Grandfather fought in the Mackey. I got one missing. That's the one I use. You know how to use that radio? It's been a while since I managed to reach anyone on it. You mind if I give it a try? Sure. Once you get better. Once you get better. And then she locking it. The last one was bangers. Why is she locking it? Look at this in English. I can try it with you. Yeah. You got goats? How are they getting all of this? Chickens? They go Laurent. Oh, is he copying them? <laughs> I guess he... The, has he had never been around a man? Uh, hello. How are you? My name is Laurent. <laughs> I am Daryl. Not really good at shit like that. Math, problems, science, music, geography. Also, I get all the countries and capitals from back and forth time. Well, all right, sir. How many people do you think live within the boundaries? Of what was once France. Starting from 60, 70 million people before the fall, a stuck away current French population of fewer than 200,000. I was going to say way less. Mm -hmm. Much less. But you're homesick. They see in your eyes. Well, you're shrink. I feel things. <laughs> in my stomach. I feel your sadness. 
Oh, you deserve a happy ending too. Oh, that's what Judith said to him. Oh. Well, are we going to see this Pierre Jean? I hope they'll come back across them. Y'all hear that truck coming? Oh. Some more a holes. Well, he looks like a badass. <laughs> They're gonna take her backpack. They not just gonna walk away. Yep, I knew it. There's a reward for information after you hit me. Oh my gosh. Why do we always have these kind of pricks in this world? I knew it. Did he stab him? Oh, is she snotting? Oh, I, I don't like, like, slob and snot and, oh, I can't stand it. Oh, he did kill him. Come on, Dara, get in there. A walker? Is he? He's reading? That is Pejon? We are waiting for him to rise again. Oh my gosh. I knew some foolishness was going to be at this place. I knew it wasn't all peaches and cream and we helping you. I knew it. Uh huh. That priest in the closet and a creepy kid. No thanks. Creepy kid. What do you think? No matter what I think, I'm out of here. Uh oh. He's not without us. Not without us? What? You have a messenger. A messenger? To deliver Laurel. What? He drew this. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> he just gonna take it. He, that's why I'm like, this, he was like a kid in a candy store in this room. Get all the weapons you can, Daryl. We'll <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. Are you serious? They are tripping. Oh, that. Oh. Just kill him. Just not kill him, but was that like his brother or son or something? Now they're gonna be after Daryl. Oh Lord, they're gonna go back to the nunnery. Oh, now they about to. Uh, 
go wreak havoc at this nun place. Oh my gosh, they, oh, they're going to the nun place. And, dang, how many cars do they need of people for some nuns? I hope they closed the door and locked it back. He gonna go back and help them. And he can't help it. Y'all should have got them weapons and fought them. And be ready, yes. Whatever that means. Oh, but that was his brother. They're about to come back and pop up somewhere and help them. You should have been locked it. Why he wait till the last minute to lock it? He should have locked it when the lady went out. This little boy getting on my nerves already. Okay. Woo! Laurent, what you about to do? I knew he was going to go out. I knew he was going to go out. Felipe not, not about this life. Oh, okay. Well, he did it. Was supposed to stay your butt in there. No! They just come and take people for what? Yes, girl! You yes, there! I knew he was coming! I knew he was coming! I knew he was coming! Run, 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 run! Yes, girl, come on, come on, come on, come on! I know y'all can't beat them, but Y'all have a chance with knives. I knew it. I knew it. That's why I said they need guns. Yes, girl. Yes. Shoot them. I mean. Yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Daryl, where you at? Daryl, where you at? Oh, yes. Get the main one. I knew it. Yep. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, you got the wrong one, buddy. Come on, Daryl. He look like, yep, I knew it. This is why he's the leader. Woo, dang, he just threw Daryl. Come on, Daryl, get up. Daryl, get up. Yes, lady. Come on, Isabella. Lady, move out the way! Lady, he just try, was trying to kill y'all. You talking about show mercy. Uh-oh, is she having a heart attack? Oh, dang. Well, there at least you got a bike in the truck. In the truck. Oh, the ladies. At least they fall. How many men did they get? One, two, three... At least y'all got three of them. Oh, yeah. Woo! Yeah, dog. Oh, they burning them.
or something. And I ran into some bad people. They put me on a boat. And that didn't go well. And I washed ashore here. And I ran into the nun. I'll take you where you need to go. Oh, boy. Oh, that's the guy. Now he's gonna be on a mission to get Daryl. Subjects. Lord. Daryl Dixon. Dixon. Uh huh. Dixon. Oh my gosh. So he stopped the mutiny. <laughs> oh, she gonna kill him. She gonna kill him. She gonna kill him. And you're dead. Oh. <laughs> All right, folks, so that was episode one of Daryl Dixon. And I'm hooked already because people are after Daryl. People are after Daryl because we all know Daryl is not about to conform to anything you want him to do that he don't think is right, okay? So now we got this one man, one man army that's after Daryl. Then you got these people from the ship that's after Daryl. But Daryl told Isabel that somebody tied him to a boat and, you know, just floated him away. So, and of course, those are the bad people. He says he made some, he met some bad people and made some bad decisions. So, was the mutiny the bad decision? I don't know. But I'm hooked. And the nuns. Okay, let's talk about the nuns. I knew it wasn't, we just got you. We just going to take care of you. We going to fix your arm. We going to feed you. Let you take a bath, which I was happy to see the bath. Like, Daryl, you finally taking a bath. And, of course, they had a motive. And it was to take this little boy, Laurent, because he's supposed to be the savior of the world. To wherever I don't know and I'm like I knew it I knew it was something okay then they got Pigeon he turned into a walker and they got him in a room saying he will rise again no people no <laughs> and I knew that weapon that room of weapons was not just a room of weapons for show but she did say we use them or we haven't used them in a long time but I knew it wasn't just a room for show and I'm like oh this like a kid there was like a kid in the candy store with all these weapons and um they was like well we need you to take him you are you are the one I know you're the one you came out the water because he drew this picture three weeks ago before you came and I saw you I saw what you did with those men and why does everybody think that Daryl kid is the one? Well, we know he's the one. Everybody that come across him and see what he could do, like, oh, yeah, you're the one. Can you help me? Or can you help this person? Let Daryl just go. <laughs> and then Laurent said what Judith told Daryl. You deserve a happy ending. And I hope. 
by the end of this if there's not a season two. We see some kind of happy ending for Daryl. Um, I liked the scenery that they have. Of course, the we're in the Walking Dead universe. So, of course, it's grays and browns and dark greens because the world's supposed to be, like, gone. No greenery, no nothing. I like that. And I'm like, are they in France for real? I don't know. It looked like it. I think he is. Um, I'm saying them recording it in France for real. Um, I would have liked to see Carol in this because it was supposed to be a Daryl Carroll spinoff. I would have liked to see Carol. I hope she make a cameo. And I hope they don't spoil it if she do, does in a preview. I hope she make a little cameo, pop up somehow. I don't know. But yes. Um, what else happened? Oh, the girl and the guy. When he came out limping on this cane, I was like, is he is he sick for real? Well, not sick. Is, is he hurt for real? Because we know how people fake the funk and then turn against you. And that's what they did. I'm like, really? And, of course, Daryl saved them, but not really because the men that was coming found them walking and killed the oh excuse me and killed the great granddaddy or so, whoever that man was but in whom what else so Daryl got one big group after him and one a one man army after him so we gonna see how this unfold but like I said I'm hooked already I can't wait to see where this story goes. I can't wait to see what Angela King and all them do. But yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, if you made it, I'm trying to think if I missed anything before I wrap it up. That is it. So, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you for watching to the end. I greatly appreciate it. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you know when I drop a video. Comment, how did you like the first episode? Did the first episode get, get you hooked like it did me? If it did, put hooked in the comments, okay? Put hooked in the comments. And follow me on Instagram and TikTok at herstyles with the Z15. And don't forget to keep being you, doing you, for you. All right, folks. I'll see you on the next one.